Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon the master of martyrs and peace be upon your adorers. Welcome to Shia Waves. I'm your anchor Ali Jasimir to present and replenish your minds with the latest Shia world news. And now with the headlines. A group of scholars and religious personalities from various countries visits the eminent Grand Ayatollah Shirazi. Central African Republic appoints first Muslim premier. Muslim society plans new mosque in Noakesville. A group of scholars, religious personalities, and Hausa students from various countries has visited the eminent Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Saad Husseini Shirazi. May Allah prolong his life in his honorable house in Qum. Among the personalities who have visited his eminence were the eminent Sheikh Fawzi al Sayyid from Qatif and the son of the late poet Sayyid Mustafa Jamal al Din from Baghdad, along with a group of Hausa students from various Iraqi and Iranian cities. During this meeting, the honorable guest listened to the valuable instructions of his eminence, in which he stressed the importance of hard working, especially in educating people and guiding them to follow the path of the Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon them. His eminence also stressed the necessity of supplicating Allah Almighty during hard times to overcome obstacles. Iraqi security forces regained control in the surrounding areas of Tus Khermato district of Shiite majority in Salahuddin province after killing dozens of ISIL terrorists and burning many of their vehicles. A security source said in a press statement today that the security forces managed to besiege ISIL terrorists in the vicinity of the district and hit them with rockets and mortars, killing at least 50 terrorists and burning more than 15 vehicles used for their armed operations against innocent civilians. A Bahraini Islamic group said native Bahrainis must enjoy the right to housing as a natural right as citizens. Furthermore, the group has condemned the authorities' distribution of the Bahraini nationality to naturalize foreigners who are afforded to priority in housing and other state services, whereas citizens are being deprived of these key services. The Islamic group supports the citizens who demonstrated for their right to housing in Mudaya area. It is to mention that the regime in Bahrain is adopting a systematic plan to replace the native people of Bahrain with foreigners of various nationalities. Muslims throughout the region are condemning the actions of a Kosovo extremist who joined the ISIL and posted photographs of himself on Facebook beheading a young Shiite boy. Photos taken from the Facebook account of Lavdim Muhaziri from Kasinik, a small town at the Kosovo border with Macedonia, made headlines in local media and caused harsh reactions from citizens, politicians and imams. Meanwhile, Kosovo police have arrested 40 Takfiris on suspicion of having fought with extremist ISIL insurgents in Syria and Iraq, a crackdown aimed at deterring recruitment of volunteer militants. Amid ongoing efforts to end the months-long sectarian violence in Central African Republic, a Muslim has been appointed as a prime minister for the first time since their independence from France in 1960, as a first step towards forming a more inclusive government. The first Muslim prime minister, Mohamed Kamoun, served as a senior advisor to Seleka leader Michel de Choya after becoming the president in March 2013. The appointment of the Muslim Prime Minister by the interim Christian President Catherine Samba Panza comes a month after signing ceasefire agreement between rival militants and the resources-rich country. Over the past months, anti balaka Christian militias have raided homes, killing children and women and looting and vandalizing properties. More than 100 civilians have been killed during clashes between Nigerian military forces and Takfiri Boko Haram militants in Nigeria's northeastern Borno state. The notorious Takfiri group Boko Haram has repeatedly targeted Nigerian civilians, mostly in Borno, killing more than 2,000 civilians since January. On April 14th, Boko Haram kidnapped 276 students from their secondary school in the town of Chibok in Borno. Reports say 57 of the girls managed to escape but 219 are still believed to be in captivity, and international efforts to locate and rescue them have failed so far. The Al Dulles Area Muslim Society, known as Adams, has announced the plans to build a mosque in the Knoxville area in Virginia, United States. Adams' strategy is to integrate Muslims. Finish start finding. Adam's strategy is to integrate mosque with existing facility for an optimum use of space with special consideration to efficiency of long-term operation and maintenance, providing sufficient gathering areas inside and outside lobbies, foyers, and a standalone minaret. Adams informed that the total estimated construction cost is $5.5 to $6 million. The current construction account balance is only $1.1 million. 
All site plans are completed and all land development permits are issued and construction documents are at 95% completion. We have reached the end of our new show. Thank you all for joining in with us. And as always, remember our dua to hasten the reappearance of our beloved Iman Mahdi, peace be upon him. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.